UIT Motorsports is based in the University of Ontario Institute of Technology, or now known as Ontario Tech. In 2002, the university was founded, and they accepted their first batch of students in 2003, making it one of the country's newest universities. Today, students at UIT Motorsports are working around the clock to get their car ready for Formula North. Just gonna go in the middle, have my little short person stool, put this on right here. So I just put it on a B block so I know exactly where my angle is. It's less than two days until their debut onto the Formula SAE scene. Formula North is held at the Barry Molson Center, about an hour north of Toronto. Despite being only two days out, the team still has a lot of work to do. The electrical system still has to be tested and wired up into the car. Being a new team, UIT Motorsports has a lot to learn. However, with time so tight, there's no time for mistakes. Less than 24 hours to go, and they've hit one of their first speed bumps. The differential and motor carrier has been assembled prior to the electric motor being installed. We found out we cannot assemble said motor with said diff assembly based upon the fact that um, there's a little knobby thing sticking up here. And when we go to place the motor together, there is no room at all for it to sit. So now I'm still trying to figure out the best way of doing this so that I don't have to tear apart the whole diff assembly, but at the same time get the motor mounted. Meanwhile, on the other side of the shop, Kyle Cannon, a seasoned electrician, has been called in to help label the wiring properly. After having to disassemble most of the motor and differential carry assembly, the motor can now be installed. With less than 12 hours to go before the car has to be packed up in a trailer, the team still has a lot on their plates. Anything left to do by Thursday morning will have to be done in Barrie. On a foggy Thursday morning at 7 a.m., the trailer was loaded and the team left for Barry. As we arrived, the paddocks were already full of cars from the other universities. With little time to spare, the team got to work assembling the car. One, two threads. And if you hold it. The first day was reserved for assembly and preparation for technical inspections. At this point, something became apparent. Our vehicle right now is very unsafe if we attach the batteries to them. Most of our safety buttons aren't attached. However, the team had already knew that they were not going to pass safety inspection before arriving to Formula North. But we do this going into uh, the event. Yeah, we were still not finished the vehicle, but we just came here to show faculty and ACE that like we can assemble a vehicle and make something within a reasonable deadline. The team heads into technical inspection anyway to find out what they have to fix. We all have our own expertise and then if, they ex if theirs is seat belt harnesses and structural integrity, it's a bit harder. It wasn't all bad news. Even though there were some serious issues, there were only a couple the team didn't know about. They were even complimented about some great design choices which surprised the inspectors. The next day, we got to watch the other teams practice and test their vehicles. It was quite the experience. The cars had such agility and quickness. Their very lightweight body and powerful motors propelled them forward very, very quickly. 
The venue has a track, as well as a skid pad. The skid pad was used for the teams to shake down their cars and for the drivers to get warmed up. While the other teams were racing around the track, we got to listen to a design judge who happened to be a suspension and aerodynamics engineer. Basically be a, like, you know, a test lab of the actual event. Right here, towards the main hoop race, and then come yeah. back to the bottom of the chassis. And it has to hit the chassis in two places. One, yeah. two. He gave us a ton of information, tips, and changes for our car. Thanks to all the judges and inspectors, we learned a whole lot about our car and designing future cars. We didn't expect to get such praise from the judge. He just commended us on how we say that should be more feedback from him. And he's very proud of how far we came from for our first year team. This event has helped us progress faster than ever. We will be seeing our car run at an event like this in the very near future. A big thank you to our sponsors for helping us build our car and bring it to this event. Barry, you'll probably see us again next year. We could not have made so much progress without these sponsors. A big thank you to our sponsors for helping us throughout this journey.